All right, so things uh, starting to return to normal, kind of, after the Thanksgiving holiday and all the shopping, but the frenzy of activity might have caused you to lose track of your financial situation. So if you find yourself over that holiday budget, don't worry, we've got our financial expert here, Andy Mattingly, with some uh, advice on how to cure the Black Friday financial hangover, which I'm sure plenty of people are going through. So give us, Andy, your, your warning sign that our holiday spending might have been causing some trouble. Well, the first one is that you have no idea how much you spent between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So ignorance is not um, bliss in this situation. Yeah, that would be bad. So what yeah. are the most important accounts to review at this so point? So really probably look at your credit card and store charges because you're probably just, that's probably what most people use. And so they run them up and they have no idea how much is out there. You know, you can look at your savings and checking too, but it's those store charges and credit cards that's most important. Okay, so what's the first step toward recovery if you have trouble? Well, the first step is admitting you have the pro a problem, mm -hmm. that you really have a financial problem, and then deciding that you're going to take care of it right now. So then uh, why is dealing with it right now so important? Well, because if you don't admit that you have a financial problem, and because it's the holidays, we like to spend during the holidays and be generous, you're just going to make this problem worse. So you need to have early recognition, admit it, so you can start taking some actions to, to improve. Okay, so talk about the, the action, the, the correcting our situation if we've gone so far left field. Well, the first thing to do is stop all the holiday spending, which is not, isn't just gifts, but it's also all the parties and all of those things. So stop your spending, and then look at other ways in your current budget that you can start pulling some money out to start, start paying down some of that debt. Okay, so let's say that that isn't enough, that you've gone way overboard. Okay, so this is not going to be the popular option, but that's when you have to really take the hard step and start taking back some gifts mm -hmm. and maybe buy less expensive ones, maybe trim down the um, gift list. And probably for most people, the reason why they overspend is that they bought some things for themselves. Oh, so yeah. maybe you should take those back <laughs> and wait till later. But that, those, are the, those are the hard steps that you have to take. So then uh, I guess we should have taken your advice last time when you said don't buy go for yourself. And buy yes, for yourself. But no one does that. So we have to <laughs> deal with it on the other end. All right, Andy, thanks so much. Always good to have you here. Thank you. Take his advice.